joining us this beautiful afternoon. My name is Susan Grace and you're watching Chris over Hapandania NTV. Remember today we are talking about from test to testimony. And for the sake of the people who are just joining us right now, I'm just going to very quickly read today's verse of the day, which was coming from the book of Luke 5, 25 and 26. And it says, and immediately as everyone watched the man, sorry, uh, everyone watched, the man jumped up, pick, uh, picked up his mat, and went home praising God. Everyone was gripped with great wonder and awe, and they praised God, exclaiming, we have seen amazing things today. Now, pale kwenye mtandao at NTV Kenya, NTV crossover, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, we are asking you the question, what is your testimony today? Our guests are here in studio, and hear me out, yeah? Imagine this, you want to go out there, play soccer, you go take a jog, and when you start jogging, you experience some random excruciating pain, and you don't make much of it. You continue running, and things get worse, and your mates have to help you get to your house. And later in the night, you just can't sleep because the pain is unbearable. You wake up to a swollen foot, you're in pain, your leg is red, and you just don't know what to make of it. Later, you go to the hospital, and the doctors tell you that you have been diagnosed with a disease that is life-threatening. That is a story of one of our very able guests, David Wanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself. We also have Pastor Yula in the building. How are you? Yeah, we've had her before. So today we, we, want, to talk, we want to talk about yeah. from test to testimony. Hallelujah. Because I know we tend to focus very much on the test. Yes. And I'm going to start with you, David Wanda. Mm -hmm. For the sake of the person who's seen you for the first time, maybe introduce yourself and tell us about your experience. Uh, my name is... David Wanda. I'm a songwriter, I'm a singer, I'm a worshipper, so many other things. Uh, I'm an entertainer as well. And uh, I'm born again. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yes. Mm. Hey. Hey. Test to test I just, I just, I, first of all, I just love the way you've, you've done your research, like mm -hmm. Sijakuja to Kanza from zero. Uh -huh. As you were explaining, I was just smiling. I was like, mm, on point. Why, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> So yeah, um, just to testimony, I, I, I think I'm the best guest for today. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing about me, unajua, people tend to talk about their testimony once Isha Peter, you know, mm -hmm. understand. But as for me, I, I want to, to speak about it as I'm still going through it so that maybe somebody munyanenda th through a similar situation and maybe even worse. Mm -hmm. And as maybe to to as a connect, to right. understand, and I, and, mm -hmm. I, and I know ever since nearly go public, because I'm going through this. Mm -hmm. Personally, I never got, I, I never heard of that that ka disease nearly yeah. ski. Unfortunately, nearly ski, I'm not even part of. And we nearly part of even though so many other people were, came out all like yo. Uh, my aunt Ali 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 go through this, and unfortunately she passed away. Mm -hmm. My mom is currently going through this. My brother, nini nini. So um, it's it's something that. Uh, as for as much as naipitia and it's painful and it's, I, I would not, I would not even want my worst of enemies to go through yeah. this. Nikitupia, I think, uh, as somebody mwenye watu wanajua kiasi, people, people wananiangalia sana wako like now, let's see how this is going to play out. You right. understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, so, it's Japita Bado, but I think, I think this is the time, the, 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 the correct time to talk about it. Right. Yes. And for the, there's someone at home wondering, <laughs> what, is, what, what is this condition he's talking about? It's a DVT. Deep yes, it's, it's DVT. Vein, in, yeah. in full, it's deep vein thrombosis. It's, it's a blood clot condition. Mm -hmm. And uh, as, as we mentioned up, up earlier, it's, it's very scary because each and every other doctor, you know, 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 Search for another opinion, mm -hmm. na ingine, na ingine. Each and every other doctor nilikuwa naenda, alikuwa na niembia. This is life-threatening. Mm -hmm. You should not even be standing. Mm -hmm. Unafaa kukua admitted till ile siku. Yos nini itaisha kabisa. Because yeah. the moment your clot it a break kidogo, he move through vein, he ende kwa heart ama kwa brain, then it's done, you understand? Yeah. So you, you can imagine living all those months kwa nyumba you like. If I move from... This coach to that il ile bathroom, mm -hmm. I might die. <laughs> so oh you're like, okay, let me not move. Yeah. So it has been tough. Mm. Yeah. 
Pastor Yula, we're listening to this and um, you know, I love that he has mentioned something about most of the time we wait for the test to be over for mm -hmm. us to testify. Mm -hmm. yeah. But today we're hearing someone who's going through the test yeah. and they're still testifying. Yes. Yes. What do you make of that? Oh my God, he just brings to mind one scripture. Is it Psalm 34 verse 8? It says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. So he, he's in the process of testing that God is good. He's in a situation, but he's determined that God is present with me in this mm -hmm. place. Yeah. So I'll emerge with a very good testimony. Mm -hmm. I'll come out on the other side. God is with me in this place. Mm -hmm. So glory to his name. Mm -hmm. I know we'll be back to testify. Amen. 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 Yes. And amen. Yes. amen. Son, before I come to you, hmm. the doctors told you strictly to just be home, Definitely. but you still went for your other album launch. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing is, I think Nilika for months alone. I, I stay alone. Soon mm -hmm. as I imagine, Koyo in closed room, Koago Kanyumba, thinking about so much. And Ilifika yeah. time Nika Jambia, it's been okay. Right now, as we speak, to like a a year. But naomba, si si ni kona faith ita fika year. But when Ilianda Ilianda first month, second month, third month, fourth month, when when Ilifika fifth month, Nilikuwa like. I'm a doctor when I scare that in life threatening. I might actually die uh, mm -hmm. from this when I understand. But me like, like, if I was to die, by the time I was to three months, I was going to die. So, I was step out in pain. Okay. Whatever it happen up and belly, I knew it was going to plan your God, when I understand. Yeah. So actually, right now, I'm not even supposed to be here. I was not actually supposed to. I uh, uh, four songs from my album mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, back to back like in in one month two songs one month two songs mm -hmm. right now it's mifika four and the doctor still on us you're not supposed to be moving around <laughs> but then because you're mungu lazima yendele lazima yendele kama daktari ya na watch tataka i know we can explain wow wow i i love that and i know i i know uh Many people, even the doctor, yeah. is watching. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing I'm glad about you as Wanda is like you, you actualize it in your name whereby God utawashangaza. Mm -hmm. You will make them wonder yeah, out of the blessings that you're going to bless me. And uh, for me, I see you such a fighter, a warrior, mm -hmm. uh, where in many cases, mm -hmm. hey, those soldiers are so many. Yani. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're there, you're saying, at least I'll be the last man standing, yeah, you know, mm. uh, representing, mm. being unashamed mm. of who God has called me to be. Because when you get your info, maybe, and sometimes, uh, sorry to say, but kuna watu wata onge pata your info ndo hii. Iyo ndo your malize, you know. But uh, I thank God for the faith that God is giving yeah. you. Uh, for even the, the life that you're going through and allowing people to see, uh, come and touch and feel mm -hmm. this is what... Mm. I, I have been through mm -hmm. and I've come to this other mm -hmm. side, you know, and uh, join me in this journey. You know, it's so amazing when people see what you're testifying and uh, like when people see what you're going through mm -hmm. and the testimony. For me, I would, I would maybe just want to understand how as much as the doctors are going to be, you see, you see, studio, you're going to find out your music. Uh, for uh, first of all, I would like to thank my team. I have a very understanding team. So the first few days will appear, Mimi, Niliuziwa Uoga. Okay, sorry to say that, doctors, if you're watching, it's evil, but I should say it. As much as these are the early stages, Niliuziwa Uoga, and I was like, yes, I'm not supposed to move. So I, I, I called some of my producers, and actually some of them were going to nyumba. So actually half uh, half of my album, Nili Rokodi and Dania Nyumba. And... Uh, Nili try sana, trust me. Nili try sana to follow what the doctors all go on But if you cut time, nika, if you cut time, you know, say now, it's it's face, it it's my faith against the doctors. Mm -hmm. You understand? And actually, me me ni mtu ni melele wa na foundation ya Christ. Mm -hmm. Faith just had to take its course. Yani lazi ni na respect. Baka sa ina respect. As much as me we move around, I I na try sana 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 ku minimalize. Uh, I I just natokanga kwa nyumba only when necessary maybe kama naenda clinic kama naenda ku get madawa but most of the time nakonga kwa nyumba but if i have to go and do a video ndio kazi ya Mungu iendelee nitaenda if i have to come here and testify ndio wase wa Mungu aweze kusikia what god is doing mm -hmm. through me nitakamu na understand so only when necessary ndio na move 
Mm. It's not like atini mepuza story ya daktari mm. because it's still here, you understand? Yeah. Mm. Umeongelea kazi ya Mungu lazima iendelee. Mm. Did you and be honest? Did you ever have a moment where you're like, ah, God, like any why me? Mm. Like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm spreading mm. the word. Mm. I'm, yani I'm working mm. for you. Imepoje ukanichagua mimi ndo nipitie huo msiba? I won't lie. Mm -hmm. So many times. Mm -hmm. So many times. Actually, one of the things uh nakumbuka tukipanga hii interview na na Sun. Mm -hmm. Aka niko last Sunday and nilikuwa poa, nilikuwa poa, nilikuwa mjovio, nakumbuka yuko lakini mbia niko hapa na team tunapanga Sunday nikamwambia Sunday niko poa. On I've been I've been nimekuwa niki have mental breakdowns because of yeah. nini yeah. condition you understand. But sidhani kama nisha i feel heavy mm -hmm. than yenye ile come on Wednesday. It was so heavy mm -hmm. to an extent that what nilifanya afterwards I think I questioned the next day I think ilikuwa Thursday nilikuwa like why nimefanya nini because niliamka on Thursday kama nime unfollow everyone on social media nime disable all my social media platforms mm -hmm. nime delete all my contacts nime sijui nilifanya nini simu because nakumbuka sana ki ni call a day a day later siku anapatikana mm -hmm. Everybody was just coming when you wana jua malina sti wana no kuko mlango. Are you okay? Na wambia niko okay. I just decided ku... I don't know what happened. Hata nisikuwa na yaza explain. I don't know what happened but... Nili, nime jipata tu nimefanya so many things and... Na pray God, situation kama yaisi come tena because I don't know what... Ni nini ingine na yaza fanya mbaya. Iki come tena, una understand. Nime kuwa niki prayer sana. Iyo nini iki come but... I won't lie. Mm -hmm. So many times ni me, ni me question life, God, why me? Because <coughs> one thing about social media, and I think maybe vile nili have your breakdown, this is the reason as to why nili, nilifanya what nilifanya. One thing about social media, it's, it's not, when, when it comes to, a, to the kingdom of God, it's not really a, a competition, you understand? Yeah. There's, there's me, there's Moji, there's Jabidi, there's so many other artists when you wanna work here, he kingdom, mm -hmm. but you see, when, when you ukopale social media and you can't really go to events, ama uh, shows, ama mm -hmm. nini. Churches. And then uko social media, you're like, hey, look at my colleagues, man. We are koi church, we are koi church, we are koi interview, we are koi NTV, we are kopale. Mm -hmm. And you're like, God, mimi tundi ume decide. Mtaka ako inyo, understand? So, yeah. it really, at times, as, as much as ukone your faith, as much as una pray, it really tends to get to your head, una understand, uko like, ay, apana. Mona to me, and mm -hmm. then funny thing, I have, I had never before this before in in the party, see why is here anything like this? Mm -hmm. So you're like ah, ayapan, Mona. Mm -hmm. So ni mara mo ni ni me question so many times, but prayer na wadi ya God ni me kwa ni kiji. By the end of the day, kitu ni me kwa ni kiti testify pia na ndiawa tu ni that. At times by the end by the end of the day. Ni wewe tu ndi uneza jipreachi ya best. Ni wewe tu ndi uneza jienkarage the best. Ni wewe tu uneza jiplift mali unawana ni kama uko down. So ni mekuwa nikifanya hivyo sana sana. I've been my own therapist pali kwa nyumba. Na jambia ya umeanguka smama. So, yeah. Wow. Sometimes you have to be your own minister. First of all, I want to come to you. When we are going through a very hard time, people tend to tell us, Focus on the positive. Mm. And you know when you're going through the storm, there's really nothing <laughs> positive. <laughs> yes. But in actual sense, maybe the people yes. on the outside can see the positive. Yes. And I want to ask you, how can we, uh, I don't know, how can we see the positivity in mm. the worst of scenarios? I think that's only a factor that God can bring in. Because mm. in our natural minds, you want to think about the hardship. Mm. You want to think about the pain mm. and how to take away the pain True. but uh, the bible says uh, i love what he said that prayer has helped him mm -hmm. prayer has sustained him the bible says philippians 4 6 uh, do not be anxious about anything mm -hmm. because because anxiety will come mm -hmm. do not worry about anything because worry will come mm -hmm. so uh, the word is telling us but uh, make your supplications to god with thanksgiving i love what it says it says that peace that transcends all understanding. The Amplified adds and says, that peace that reassures the heart. Mm -hmm. When he's speaking, you actually expect tears to be falling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I thought, yeah, you, you, what I was listening to his story, yeah. I was like this. 
I was even over here. <laughs> me, I was just at the edge of my seat in case anything happens. <laughs> you, just, you know. Very but true. there's an abnormal peace about mm -hmm. him. Yeah. That doesn't come from the natural. Mm -hmm. That true. can only come from God. Mm -hmm. I think if we call on God, the Bible says when we call on him, he hears and he answers. Mm -hmm. So he's able to sustain us in a hard place. Mm -hmm. I think that's my thing. Yeah, just focusing on God. Sam? Yeah, f for, for me, uh, like, oh, I agree with what uh, Pastor Yula is saying. And every time you, you, you're talking, I, I understand the sense of you being very sober and alert, even in the spirit. Because uh, as you're talking, I was just reflecting on the story of um, the, the guy who was at the well. Mm -hmm. And he was waiting for every angel to come and stare mm -hmm. it up. So that, and he was so focused uh, into getting into the well yes. until he didn't know that he was speaking to the healer. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You know, yes. and uh, for me, what encourages me uh, in your story is the, the, the fact that uh, no, 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 wake mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. This is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. yes. This is how you need to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to be. And uh, maybe, I, I don't know, but who have you been looking uh, in the Bible mm -hmm. that has been giving you strength? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, man. I think I think he had to escape. to easy escape at a kidogo. Mm -hmm. I think the story of, of Joe, but mm -hmm. at a Bishop Wong, I mean, I'm working in courage now. Your stories are not understand. As in, just like Blaine Mesema Pombele, if 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 this was the worst case scenario, come and get a quick win by a single picture three months because. Yeah. You know, when you go through something, the person has a funny research. Mm -hmm. I've been doing research on this, and yes, as much as it's scary, as much as image kwa watu wengi, if if inge kwa ni vivi inge kwa like the first yeah. two months, three mm -hmm. months, you know, understand? Mm -hmm. But the fact that naenda kufikisha hiya, I think ni God na taka kuonesha watu kitu, you understand? Mm -hmm. Actually, the first five months ni likuwa tu kwa kwa nyumba. No, nobody knew about the situation. Actually, after six months, in Donilico, like it's time for me to come out because I can't really struggle alone. Mm -hmm. I need my friends to come through because Donilico alone, kwa nyumba. My doctor wanna say, "Masi ezi move around." People didn't really knew about the condition, so Donilico, like my friends, my, my my friends, my family, na nidio company, na understand because pia kuku alone nini. So I think my story ni na ina ni pia tunguvu day by day ni story a job mm -hmm. because job. Me see, 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 compare what I'm going through right now. Like it took job, I'll be able understand. But if yeah, I'll be able to overcome. So then, if I'm going to get to go, I'm going to be a God. We serve a living God, a God who watches over us, and a God of provision. And that is one thing you've also experienced because yeah. I, when you were sharing one of, uh, in one of your videos. Mm. You talked about the, the medicine is expensive, this hospital mm. visits are expensive, <laughs> but somehow you've not lacked rent, yeah, you've not lacked you know, food, you've not lacked. It's to be very honest, mm -hmm. month by month by month by month, because so many people are going to be by by CGV5, because I'm literally not working mm -hmm. right now. CND is over, let me explain. CND is on my gigs, CND is on my show, I'm literally going to be This story is on May last year. So, I'm going to be a dog, I'm going to be a May. Vile, I'm going to be a parent, na kukula na Izo, izo bills and mm -hmm. what and what and what be, without kuja pale kwa social media kuambia ni aje ni melemewa ndiyo i pay bill mm -hmm. amazes me mm -hmm. to be very honest dona na kuambia me think by the end of the day ni kazi tu ya mungu yeah. because I, I really can't explain even don mekuwa ni kili parent even don mekuwa ni kikula even don mekuwa ni kiende ya madawa I really can't explain yeah. but imekuwa ikifanyika mm -hmm. mm. No, na kuna mali ulimi kujua kukasema, kama ni mimi suja tengeneza posta ya pebble, <laughs> mungu ni mkuu. <laughs> True. <laughs> Masa ila, I'm going to come to you and say, we usually say that God cannot give you more than you can handle. Mm. Yes. But sometimes when we're going through it, we're like, yes. hey God, this is beyond me. Moment. You know, yes. Yes. how do we strengthen ourselves? How do we strengthen our spiritual muscles to be like, you know what, yes. I can handle this. I can handle this. David said, somewhere in Psalm, he said, why are you done cast all my soul? awake and praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think if we move the focus off ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, shift it to the one who is able to do, who is able to sustain, who is able to heal, and even if he doesn't heal, he still remains our cover, our oxygen, mm -hmm. our everything. I think just trying to fix our gaze or focus on him, that really helps the mm -hmm. journey. Mm -hmm. It does help. Oh, all right, sweet. it's all right. Son? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think for me, um, through through this journey, now, uh, like you've decided to testify 
through as you're going through the mm -hmm. test. Um, let's talk about your album, Wanzo. Mm -hmm. how, how did you uh, even get the strength to yes. say, like, I'm going to put this out. Mm. I want people to understand what I'm going through. Actually, I thought I thought about uh, I had that idea of releasing album because I had never done an album before. We got one 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 songs, mm -hmm. so many songs, but Sijai Kachini ni kafikiria album. So I thought about this idea back in 2020 when kuna pandemic, majua kuna time mobile kafikiria. So ni uh, kajambia in two years nda nda release album that ilikuwa 2022. So when 2022 will be fake. By the end of the day, I think his story out will go God will deliver us. Because we need to promise 2022, Lazima ni fanya alba. You understand? Then 2022 ina kam ilianza. Poa sana. 2022 yangu, I promise. 22 yangu will go. Mwanzo will go the best because I had shows uh, inside and outside Nairobi, flights, nini, nini, nilikuwa bookings, kila mahali. Then came May, because that story lianza, kama nimetoka Kisumu, mm -hmm. nilitoka Kisumu na flight ya saa nani kukam dio, nike, nilikam, kama nime prepare a uh, small lunch, nikeenda kwa field, dio story kaanza. So after hapo ika kwa evo, so nika, nilikuwa like, ik, nilikuwa kwa dilemma, nilikuwa like, do I still do the album mama nilikuwa nikama, nikama mapana? Kama nilikuwa na, 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 na agreement na God, hii album inatoka 2020, inatoka to 2020. And it's amazing how nilifanya half of the song niki explain my situation so that people wanna as I relate and what one may relate. Sana, sana, mm -hmm. sana, more than maybe ninge kuwa poa, ni, ni release to maybe songs of praises, za zini, nini, za nini, like nilikuwa na, 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 na ambia watu. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going through and this is what I'm expecting by the end of the day. Like half of the album nilikuwa na speak of what my condition is mm -hmm. and uh, man reception ilikuwa nini because so many people nili, 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 nili get contest and so many people wanna go through different things who ku na wote wanatarajia something from God mm -hmm. so Mwanzo is just a blessing and me I think this is this is my first album but it's an album that I'll never ever forget mm. Mm. great I don't know if you've taken time to go through the comment section I was listening to its song, Angalia Comment Section, mm. and my, oh my, mm. people are touched. Yeah, very true. People are touched. I, w I was actually surprised. There are a lot of people who came forward sharing yeah, that yeah, they've true. also been through mm. the mm. same situations, yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. situation rather, mm. that you're going through. Pastor Yula, when people hear about, we need to testify of God's goodness, yeah. they think, but sina mansion, mm. but sina gari, mm. but sina, you know, but it is like, I don't yeah. know who set the standard for, <laughs> this is what a testimony is. <laughs> It's like people have yeah. this notion of this our testimonies. Yeah. Yes. But this this one, one I just told you about it. God, God, on this side, you know. God, is faithful. God, God is good. God is faithful. God is faithful. God has been faithful. <laughs> Let's talk about that. What, what really is a testimony? Actually, when you look at that word in the Bible, mm. testimony means evidence of mm. something. Uh, it means uh, the, um, the story of a happening. Mm -hmm. Now, na nime, nime jaribu sana kutafta iyo vasi ni inasema, blessing ni inafika hapa. Mm -hmm. Kamu kwa na nyumbe inatosha na hivi, in your blessing. Mm -hmm. I've really tried to find it and I can't find it. Mm -hmm. But um, when you look at the word of God, when people were healed, like the verse that we're reading today, mm. that man had a testimony. Mm. His story had changed from one state to another. Mm. He had evidence of God having touched his life. Mm -hmm. So testimony is the evidence of a happening in your life through God's power. Mm. So anything that meets that merit, that mm -hmm. is a testimony. Mm -hmm. yes. So if you woke up today, that is a testimony. Glory a testimony. to God. If you're healthy, that's a testimony. Yes, mm -hmm. Jesus. If you had breakfast, it's a testimony. I'm there are people who are sleeping yes. hungry, you really know. Yes. Sure. Yes. And anything that, you know, we're not entitled to good things. We're not entitled yes. to life. We're not entitled to good health. You're not entitled to parents as well. Is I mean, if you live life with that mentality yes. of, I'm not entitled to anything yes. and I'll be grateful for everything yes. that I have, yes. then you will see that you have tons and tons yes. of testimony. Yes. David Wanda, I know today we've just focused on a segment of your life. Mm -hmm. let's, let's walk a bit out of it. And what, what are, um, at, I mean, let's look at another point in your life where you can look and say, you know what, God really came through. Mm -hmm. This is also a testimony. Uh, uh, my, I, I think my, my whole life in my testimony after the other, 
-hmm. testimony after one test or like one test after the other na na, na image victorious in a testimony and uh, i think by the end of the day I'm, by the end of this what i'm going through right now it, this, i think this will be my biggest testimony mm -hmm. but to make one zingine hapo you want understand the fact that uh, the fact that uh, nilikuwa kuna place nilikuwa and then uh, nikatoka this is musically now the fact that kuna place nilikuwa nikatoka i i knew this is for a fact i, I really don't know if nishai share na san i knew for for a fact that i place yenye nilikuwa ndio ilikuwa imenishikilia musically and if i walk out of that place then my career was going to die you understand mm -hmm. and when i walked out of there nilikuwa naona god akifanya 1 2 3 i think alikuwa tu anataka kuniprove is not the people that you are working with ndo alikuwa na push your career forward mm. it was oh, me wow. all along and understand mm. now that they are out of your career i love that i, I, really really I think i think that was the inspiration behind the song wa shangazi yeah. understand wow. so uh me me kwani one testimony after that yeah. hey there's a verse i think it's philippians 1:6 that says he who begun mm -hmm. in a good work in you will mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. see it to completion after yes. the day of christ and i'm going to come to you but just to remind you back at home ntv kenya ntv chris on facebook instagram and twitter and the question we're asking you today is what is your testimony mm -hmm. share with us and keep the hashtag hashtag ntv chris over son mm -hmm. yeah uh, let's get to the album mm -hmm. now that uh, there has been a preview of mm -hmm. uh, what is happening which your, is your favorite song? I know mm. like everything that you, you let it out there was good. Yeah, but what song mm. does, uh, what song encourages you? Like mm. when you go back and listen. Kuna song in it wa huyo. I think that's, th that was too personal and I think nilikuwa at my lowest but nilikuwa naambia watu that I still have faith. Mm -hmm. You understand this, this, mwenye, mwenye tumeona some, akifanya so many uh, miracles akiwa kia watu huko kwa bible the same god mwenye wako kufanya hizo vitu zote atanifanyia pia mimi so that, i think that's my favorite mm. wow. yeah. awesome um, i'm going to give you an opportunity to look at this camera mm. and encourage someone back mm. at home and once you're done pastor yula i'm going to come to you and i'm yeah. going to give you an opportunity to pray for people yeah. pray sure. for david wanda yes. pray for healing even for the people who are alien from conditions that yeah. they just don't know even mental yeah. health issues yeah. physical you know yeah. uh, healing that people require and then um, we're going to take a break but for now encourage me to invite you na jua kili yo changu so ya milele hata nikumbuka alivo wakumbuka wale na haja nisahau minango ya tokeze huyo 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 Yesu huyo That's my encouragement. That's in Kai. Wow. wow. Beautiful. Wow. wow. Yes. wow. Pastor Ila, final remarks and then we're going to pray. The word of God says, which camera? This one, this one. This one. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The word of God says, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask or think yeah. according to his power that is our work in us so his power is resident to do wondrous things in mm -hmm. our lives i pray that you will be able to gather yourself from our brother's story and just trust that god is able mm -hmm. if he's able to have such peace in such a state how much more you god is able and today we're going to pray for every condition, everything that you're going through. If you're going through a hard place, God is able. Why don't you give him a chance and see what he's able to do? Let us pray. Father, we give you the glory, we give you the honor, and we give you the praise. Your word says that you're able to do exceedingly above what we can ask or think. We're calling on your name. Your word says, oh God, that you hear us when we pray. We are bringing our brother before you this day, oh God, that you will continue to stay him in peace oh god that you will continue to do him all in the name of jesus that you will deliver him to the place that you have ordained for him oh god your word says that your plans for us are for a future and a hope and we trust that god will continue to do exceeding miracles in his life exceeding wonders oh god and we thank you that he's able to encourage others on the journey we're praying for everyone who's watching today oh god anyone who's facing a hard situation, anyone who's in pain, anyone who's about to give up, we pray, oh God, that you will strengthen each one in their inner man by your Holy Spirit, that you will lift up the, your people, oh God. We pray that you will give strength where it seems like there's no way. We pray, oh God, according to your word, your word says that your strength is perfect 
protected in our weaknesses. So we pray that you will strengthen your people, oh God. Give hope in this place. Show a sign, oh God, that you're with us in this place, that you're with your people. And we are praying, oh God, that testimonies will flow as we put our trust in you, as we fix our gaze on you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Thank amen. you so much, Pastor Eula. Ladies and gentlemen, David Wanda and Pastor Eula. And yeah. before I release you, David Wanda, I want to leave you with Exodus 14, 14. That says that the Lord himself will fight for you. Amen. You just need to stay calm. Amen. We take a short break. We'll be back. Don't touch that dial. Yes. Na tukirudi, tarudi na mziki ya Wanda. Ndo watu wa sikie. Yes. I say me crossing over. Hey, I say me crossing over.